Hello there friends, it's Sister Sonia B and I am so excited to be with you today. This month we're talking about something really important, self-control. Self-control is choosing to do what you should even when you don't want to. The truth is we don't always want to do what we should do. Maybe we'd rather go play with our friends, play a video game, or watch a show than do our homework or chores. But Self-control doesn't mean we can't have any fun. It just means that we learn how to make the wise choice. Maybe we choose to do our homework or chores first, then hang out with our friends. Imagine that. We need self-control for lots of things, like using wise words, choosing wise friends, and not letting our anger explode. <sighs> Much better. It's about staying in control. That's not easy, but we can do it with God's help. Now, everyone on your feet as we join our friends for praise and worship. Good morning, let us pray. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Thank you God for everything we have had. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my mom and dad. I hope the virus does not stay here for long. Thank you for the vaccine so we don't get as sick as others. Amen. Bye bye. Good morning. Our scripture reading this week is coming from Proverbs chapter 25, verse 28, NIRV version. A person without self control is like a city whose walls are broken through. Have a blessed day! Great job, friends! Today, we're talking about self-control and how God can help us stay in control. We can find lots of truth from the book of Proverbs in the Bible that reminds us how important staying in control can be. In the book of Proverbs are many wise sayings that came from King Solomon. Solomon had amazing wisdom from God, as we can see in these words from Proverbs chapter 25, verse 28. A person without self-control is like a city whose walls are broken through. See, back in Solomon's time, people used to live in cities that were surrounded by walls. Those walls were meant to protect them from their enemies. So if there was a broken part or hole in the wall, that could mean big trouble. It could be really dangerous. Solomon was saying that when we don't have self-control, we're like a city that has broken down walls. But if we do have self-control, we'll be strong and protected. Let's see, how can I explain this better? Aha, I have just the thing. Take a look. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story the epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Proverbs, chapter 25, verse 28. Theo Brickman knew he had the perfect name, he had been building brick creations ever since he could wrap his chubby baby hand around a mega brick. Brick! As Theo grew older, he moved on to brick building kits, but soon his imagination raced ahead of any building kit or building instruction set you could ever buy. I want to build Jupiter, all of Narnia, a ginormous flying pizza. Theo even got a job at a brick building store so he could spend his days surrounded by bricks. So he was overjoyed when he found out that a brick building TV show called Brick Bosses was gonna be holding auditions in his town. I'll get on the show for sure. On the day of auditions, several dozen other people showed up along with Theo. He jostled up to the front for a good spot. <laughs> I bet not one of them can beat me. A tiny lady with iron gray hair eyed him sharply as she addressed the competitors. I 
am Althea Legoemi, and I shall be judging you on originality, technical skills, and overall conduct. There is a break room if you need a snack or rest, but no food may be eaten here in the brick room. You have four hours to build anything you can imagine. Begin! Theo raced to the side of the room where racks and bins holding every kind of brick stood. Hey, you stepped on my foot. Ah, you snooze, you lose. Theo shoveled bricks into his bin. I'll build a castle, one with turrets and towers and a wonderful moat filled with shiny brick water. Theo got right to work. Soon, the walls of his fortress began to rise. He designed decorative windows and lofty balconies. Ooh, I should build a dragon to attack my castle. As Theo snapped red and gold bricks together to form his dragon, another competitor looked over. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a horse? Can't you see I'm not done with it yet, you, you, you blockhead? As time ticked on, Theo realized he was hungry, so he decided to take a quick snack break. Mm, just one minute. But in the break room, he discovered his favorite treat of all time. <gasps> Dill pickle and pizza potato chips. Theo downed one whole bag. <laughs> he desperately wanted another, but the clock was running down. I'll just sneak this back into the brick room with me. Theo finished his dragon between stuffing pizza chips in his mouth. He tried to hide the bag, but when he looked up, he noticed Althea spotting a trail of chip crumbs that he left behind. <laughs> she probably doesn't know that was me. With just a half hour to go, Theo's castle and dragon were nearly complete. I need a wall around the moat. Yeah, with a really cool pattern. So, Theo began snapping together an elaborate wall. But the wall simply would not behave. Gotta treat this piece apart. Pry as he might, Theo could not separate two small plates. Frustrated, Theo hurled the locked pieces across the room. They narrowly missed the head of Althea Lagoame, who was examining another competitor's project. She turned her head sharply to look in his direction. I don't think she saw it was me. As the final minutes ticked away, Theo fumbled to finish his wall. Time is up. Wheel your creations up to the judging stand. Theo glanced around as he wheeled his work table up to the front. <laughs> Mine's the best! But as Theo slid his table into position, it bumped over a crack in the floor. A big section of his perfect wall tilted and then crashed down. No! It was too late. Time was up, so Theo was not allowed to repair the wall. No fair! Theo sulked all the way through judging. When the names of the winners were announced, Theo's was not among them. What a waste of time. Theo stormed up to Althea. So, it was my castle wall, right? If that hadn't fallen, I would have won? It wasn't the castle wall, actually. It was your wall. What? Part of your score was conduct. How you acted and followed the guidelines and treated others throughout the audition. But I built the best creation. You do an excellent job of building without instructions but it's pretty hard to go through life without instructions. My favorite guide for life is the book of Proverbs. You mean in the Bible? Exactly. Proverbs 25, 28 says, a person without self-control is like a city whose walls are broken through. Oh. If your own wall was in good shape, I think you would have won today and caused a lot less trouble for yourself and the people around you. But that's not... <sighs> what if I do? Work on my self-control wall, I mean. Then you should definitely audition again next season. I think you'll have an excellent chance. Um, thank you, I think. Theo was deeply disappointed not to be chosen for this show, but as he was waiting for the bus to take him home, 
He downloaded a Bible app and tapped his way to Proverbs. Yep, maybe it was time for some life-building instructions. Wow, Theo really learned a lesson about self-control, didn't he? I think the best lesson he learned was that God can help us have self-control and that the Bible can help us learn to lead a life with wisdom and purpose. Solomon was right when he said, A person without self-control is like a city whose walls are broken through. Or we can put it another way. When you lose control, it can cause trouble. Let's choose to stay in control. Let's avoid the trouble that can come from losing control. God is always there to help us. In fact, let's pray and ask God to help us now. Bow your heads. God, thank you for the reminder today that you are with us no matter what challenges we might face. I know every person watching today has situations where we might lose control if we're not careful. I know that's true for me. Help us see that when we lose control, it can cause trouble. Help us have self-control so we can make the wise choice. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. It is so good to know that God is always there to protect us. God can help us be strong and stay in control. It's like Solomon's proverb from the Bible. If we don't have self-control, we're like a city with broken down walls. Remember, when you lose control, it can cause trouble. But there's good news too. There are things we can do to keep ourselves safe and protected. We can pray and talk to God. We can ask God to help us when we feel like we're about to lose control. We can read the Bible and see how God has helped people stay in control. We can also talk to the people around us and see if they can give us some good advice that will help us choose self-control. Self-control is part of what the Apostle Paul called the fruit of the Spirit. When you trust in Jesus and follow him, his Spirit will help you stay in control. Our memory verse is a great reminder that we don't have to do this alone. Here it is, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. Say it with me. God's power has given us everything we need to lead a godly life. We know that God is always with us. He's given us everything we need to show self-control and make the wise choice. That way, we'll be able to avoid trouble. That's all for now, friends. Until next time, bye-bye.